The answer is no. 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 I've gotten the question, can I shoot weddings with the Fuji X-T20 a, <laughs> a couple of times, maybe too many times. And so I've decided to make this video almost like a public service announcement. You really shouldn't be using the Fuji X-T20 as a main shooting camera if someone is paying you to cover an event for just one simple reason. It has only one card slot. And I'll show you, I was shooting an event recently with my Canon gear and my Canon stopped working and it was all because of this little memory card. This is my backup card. I was shooting to another card and this one went corrupt during our family formal time. I had to actually pause, give everyone a five minute break while I ran to get my backup camera. But it was all because of this little card going corrupt. Now, before you think that it's this brand, I've had other brands uh, go corrupt and they all have the potential to go corrupt. The point is you should not be shooting a wedding if someone is paying for you. Forget that, even if you're shooting it for free, you, shouldn't, you should have some sort of backup plan where the camera is recording to two cards. If you're thinking of using a Fuji camera, get the Fuji uh, X-T20, X-Pro2, X-H1, any camera with a dual card slot and then you're set. Now I have brought the Fuji X-T20 on events. It hangs out on my hip. I shoot a couple of photos with it, but nothing as the main photograph. So if I were to lose those photographs, I it doesn't matter because everything's being shot on my main camera. So let that be a little quick public service announcement. I keep getting this question, so the answer is no. You really shouldn't be shooting weddings with any camera that has a single card slot because think about it from the other, the other end. If you were hiring someone to photograph your special event, if they came along with a camera with only one card slot, would you hire them? Hmm? And that's one to grow on.